Welcome everyone. This is Jesse, one of Morisco HVAC Supply Certified Technical Service Advisors. And I'm Clark, Morisco's Ductless Product Manager. And we're here today to go over the basic installation overview for the LG LVN Air Handler product line. This overview is intended to cover the basic installation principles, but is not intended to replace the LG installation guide or LG certified installation classes. This video is intended for licensed HVAC installation technicians with a working knowledge of basic refrigeration cycle and the processes necessary to safely install air conditioning equipment. You also need basic understanding of heat pump HVAC system installation best practices and a basic understanding of high and low voltage wiring best practices. First thing we're going to look at is the tools you'll need to ensure a successful installation. Good quality digital charging scale. Vacuum pump with fresh oil. Digital multimeter and amp clamp. Nitrogen regulator with at least 550 PSI. Pliers, wire strippers, cutters and crimpers. Adjustable wrenches. Pipe cutter and a reamer. 5 16 Schrader core removal tool. R410A flaring tool, digital torque wrench set, vacuum micron gauge, digital gauges, a quarter to 5 16 hose adapters, electronic leak detector, and the LG SIMS tool. For more information on any of these tools, please visit your local Morisco HVAC branch. Next, we're going to look at accessories for an effective installation. Appropriately sized disconnect box with whip. Mini split surge protector to protect the valuable electronics in your newly installed system. 14-4 stranded communication wire to connect your indoor unit to the outdoor unit. 18-3 stranded wire to connect your LG controller. Your LG controller. Condenser risers. Condensate pump. Condenser pad or wall bracket. Please consult your local Morisco branch for availability. Next, we'll look at the installation consideration workflow. After sizing, selecting, and determining where indoor unit and outdoor units are to be installed, a general workflow will help with the installation. First, we're going to look at setting the indoor unit and outdoor units. Make sure you have the right model numbers in their proper locations. Make sure your indoor units and outdoor units are not damaged. You must select the proper mounting hardware. Make sure everything is securely mounted and also consider your airflow and noise. Then we'll look at the controllers and accessories. All LG units must use LG wall controllers. Make sure you have the right wiring, which is 18-3 stranded wiring for your wall controllers. Make sure you have the properly sized ductwork, filters, registers, and grills. And at this point, you'd also consider using a condensate pump. Next is the piping and condensate. You want to make sure your refrigerant pipes are properly sized according to the specifications. Make sure your refrigerant pipes are both insulated. Make sure your condensate piping is sized correctly. Make sure everything is done per local code and that your condensate pipe has proper slope to the drain. Then you're going to do your flare connections. Now let's look at wiring. Make sure your electrical wiring is sized per NEC code. You want to select the correct type of wiring. You want to correctly terminate all wire connections and you want to ensure that you're using the proper electrical safety devices installed per local code. Then we'll look at leak check and evacuation. Confirm a leak free system with 550 PSI test. You want to dehydrate the system with nitrogen. Evacuate the system down to 500 microns. And at this point, you'll add your trim charge per your submittal. And finally, we'll look at startup and system test. You want to perform your installation checklist. You want to start the equipment and confirm normal operation. You want to make sure you save your startup documents for future reference. For all submittal documents, installation manuals, engineering manuals, and any other supporting documents, you can reference lghvac.com. Next thing we'll look at is the proper flaring techniques. Always reference the model specific submittal on lghvac.com for correct line set sizing. Always make sure you use sharp tubing cutter to ensure clean 90 degree cuts. Ream sharp edges from tubing 
and make sure your pipe is always pointed downward when reaming. At this point, you're going to slide your flare nut onto the pipe. Next, you're going to use a proper flaring tool, a 410A orbital clutched flaring tool. Now you're going to check your flare for a craftsman-like finish. If your flare is defective, cut it off and start again. Check for proper flare matchup. Use a small amount of synthetic oil on the back of the flare and the male threads. Do not use too much, a drop will do. Align the pipe before tightening. Be sure the flare nut does not cross threads when tightened. Always use a backup wrench on all flare connections. And use a digital torque wrench with a digital display. You want to make sure you always torque to LG recommended torque specs. That information can be found on the LG installation guide. Don't use leak lock or Teflon tape on flares. Do not over tighten flares to try to get them to stop leaking. If the flare is properly torqued and still leaks, it is defective and needs to be remade. Once you have both line sets connected to your indoor and outdoor units, we start the pressure test. You're going to go to the outside unit. You're going to remove the caps from the high side and low side valves. You're going to use your quarter to 5 16 hose adapters and you're going to connect your hoses. At this point, you're going to start your pressure test at 150 PSI and hold it for 15 minutes. Then you'll work your way up to 300 PSI and hold it for 30 minutes. Then you're going to go up all the way to 550 PSI and hold it for an additional hour. While your system is pressure testing, you can start on the wiring. Always refer to the model specific wiring diagram in the installation manual. Connect your high voltage and surge protector, making sure that it's connected to the power supply on the outdoor unit. Ensure that your disconnect is turned off. Make sure line one is to line one, line two is a line two, and don't forget the ground. Now onto the communication wire, connecting the outdoor unit to the indoor unit. Make sure you're using 14-4 stranded cable. Use the correct wiring procedures for prepping and stripping your wire. Use properly sized spade terminals. Use a correct crimping tool. L1 and L2 are polarity sensitive on all models. Indoor units and outdoor units are 208-230 volt. Terminal 3 is high voltage communication. Never use wire nuts or splices in wiring. Make sure you always ground your indoor and outdoor unit. And do not energize the system until the service valves have been opened. If an electrician is running wiring from your outdoor unit to your indoor unit, confirm he understands the wiring requirement. Okay. At this point, you can connect your communication wire to the indoor unit. Again, L1 and L2 are polarity sensitive on all models and go ahead and connect your LG controller using 18-3 stranded wire. At this point, you can connect your drain line per local code. After we have confirmed that our system has no leaks, we can release all the pressure and evacuate. Make sure you use a two-stage vacuum pump with a check valve. In this case, our digital gauge has a built-in micron gauge. You're going to evacuate down to 500 microns or less. After we have evacuated the system down to 500 microns or less, you can add additional refrigerant if needed. Outdoor unit service valves remain closed while trim charge is added to the system. Always use a digital charging scale and refer to the model specific submittal for charging details. Once this is completed, we can now open the service valves. At this point, you want to confirm that you followed all the steps in the installation manual. Provide the owner all warranty and owner manuals that came with the equipment. You can use the LG SIMS tool to verify the system is operating efficiently. Please reach out to your local Morisco branch for details on this tool. Confirm normal operation in both heating and cooling. You're going to save your startup documents for future reference. And you're going to provide time to help train the owner about normal operation and future maintenance requirements. Morisco HVAC Supply appreciates your time and your partnership. If you have any questions, please contact your local Morisco branch or you can call one of our local TSAs for technical service.